<laughs> Cowabunga! Dudes! All right, all right, all right. Quick question before we begin this week, guys. Who is your favorite adolescent um, anthropomorphic martial arts uh, reptiles? I'll give you, a, give you a second to think about it. All right, so if you all yelled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles together at the same time, you're all right. And we are welcoming the Ninja Turtles to Jetpack Joyride for an amazing, epic crossover event. The Turtles, of course, they've been in comic books, animated series, big budget Hollywood movies, too many different toy lines to even count. And now finally they've received the greatest honor of them all, guys, a cameo in Jetpack Joyride. So that's pretty awesome. For this week, I thought, in case any of you guys aren't as familiar with the Ninja Turtles as you should be, we'd play a bit of a quiz, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle true or false quiz. I'm going to give you guys a Ninja Turtle fact, and you need to decide whether it's true or false. So I'll give you the question, and... Um, I guess the first person out there to yell true or false wins. You guys will have to work it out amongst yourselves. So, good luck. Fact number one. In the original first draft of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle comments back in 1984, they weren't turtles. They were mutant giraffes who loved tacos and were trained to uh, enter breakdancing contests rather than fight ninja battles. Eh? Yeah? Well, if you yelled out false, you're correct, guys. I made all of that up. Sounds like that version would be pretty cool, though. Am I right? Anyone? Ah. Ah, all right, next fact. After the Turtles totally blew up and became a huge success, there were a whole bunch of rip-off copycat comic books that got produced to try and replicate the Turtles' success, including the adolescent radioactive... Black Belt Hamsters. That's got to be false as well, right guys? Wrong! That is totally true. The Black Belt Hamsters were a thing. Look it up. Uh, they didn't do that well. The Black Belt Hamsters. I know you'll be amazed to hear that. Uh, fact number three. The Ninja Turtle's longtime nemesis, Shredder, actually got his name from his mad... Guitar soloing skills. <laughs> uh, no, that's that's false. I think. I mean, that one could be true. Nah, nah, it's probably probably false. But quick shout out to Shredder, probably one of the best pop culture villains ever, and he's way ahead of his time too. He was wearing a face mask for it was cool. Am I right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, how you guys going with the quiz so far? All right. Here's a good one. In a later TV series adaption of the Ninja Turtles. There was a new turtle introduced, a female turtle named Venus de Milo. Am I pulling your leg, turtle fans? Not this time. That one's totally true as well. Crazy, right? All right, one more, one more. True or false? The Ninja Turtles have made over 50 comic book, TV, and movie appearances. Yep, that is true. That one's... T wait, wait, sorry, that... Sorry guys, over 1,000 different appearances. That's, yeah, that's way more impressive. Although I guess if you said true to the over 50 bit, you would still be right. So, great job guys. As you can tell here at Harpreet, we're pretty stoked with this crossover event. Another epic one for us. It's got all the awesome stuff you'd expect. Ninja Turtle costumes. It's got an April O'Neil costume, which is great. Awesome vehicle skins. You got sewer, New York backgrounds, a pizza jetpack, of course. Uh, foot soldiers running around instead of scientists. Loads of fun, guys. Go check that one out. And I will get to some comments quickly before we finish. Dark Frankie says, Barry, what types of music do you like? Relaxing music or rock metal? Oh, first up, nice avatar there from Dark Frankie. A turtle right on point for today's episode. And look, I'm a big music fan, as you guys are probably aware. So it's a pretty hard choice between those two. I reckon I will choose, Dark Frankie, to listen to both at the same time. So I can chill out and rock out all at once. That's, that's working smart, friends. That's a smart way to listen to music. 
Anthony Serrato says, random question. Hey Barry, can you make waffles or pancakes? Choose which one you like. Oh, it's another tough choice there, Anthony. And once again, I'm going to say I will eat both at the same time. That's eating smart, friends. <laughs> yeah, getting it done this week. Aiden the Donchan says, Hey Barry, can you make episode 103? The ep ep episode? Episode, I assume he's trying to write, was called Taiko no Tatsujin. Uh, well, look, Aiden, I can make episode 103, but it's this one that you're watching, and it's about Ninja Turtles. So way better than it would have been if it was about Taiko no Tatsujin. Anyway, you're welcome, friends, and get amongst the Turtles event. Make sure you subscribe to the Heartbreak channel. It's a great time to jump on the bandwagon now. The Ninja Turtles crossover event is out, and I'll see you guys next week. Cowabunga!